All right, so this is that halo with the band. So bracelets and then get a stretch on that band. So level one is low, one arm high, one arm low. Bring it around the back, switch the arm that's high and then bring it around the front and you're trying not to bend your elbows. So you're trying to stay straight with some tension. I'm not worried about it having like as much tension as possible just some tension and focus on the range of motion. One minute, three, two, one, and go. So that's level one. Level two is to have one leg lifted. So we did um, two sets. So if you wanna lift a leg right now, we will do two sets and you can practice some balance but balance is extra hard when something else is moving. So if you can't do it, it's okay. And you get balance in other times as well. Stare at one thing. It's one minute. Focus, focus, focus. working the shoulder joint through the full range of motion. Ah, that's why they're easy to injure because they can move in so many different ways. Rest. Oh, here's what I wanna do. Let's rest for 30 seconds and then we'll do it again. We'll go in the opposite direction with the opposite leg lifted just cause we're up, speed things up a little bit. Still letting our heart rate come down. All right, other leg lifted if you did that. Haloing in the opposite direction. Three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna do some without balance to get warmed up. When you bring it around the side, you're a little bit shaving your arm with that band, keeping it in nice and close. And then trade which arm is on top in front and in back. I really like this one. And I'm finding it harder to go in this direction than the other. <laughs> we definitely went to our default side on set one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Clip my ponytail back there. There is your beep. Done with that. Toss that band aside and you need your chair. You're still upright. This is another accessory, which could be argued that it's a leg exercise, but we get a little stretch in it and a little isometric hold, making it a little more accessory. So this is the warrior lunge and you can hop switch or step switch. So you step back into a deep lunge, hands on the chair, sweep your arms overhead, arms come down, and then you either step switch, you can step back into plank and switch, or you can hop switch and land as softly as you can because you're using your upper body to help cushion the landing. One minute, three, two, one, go. Nice deep lunge, back leg is straight, front leg is bent, sweep the arms overhead, arms back down, and then step switch or hop switch to change. That isometric hold, time under tension for those muscles. Try to keep knees, hips, toes pointed forward and not out to the side with the back leg. You're just past halfway. If you're doing the hop switch, the jump switch, you want that forward foot to be very close to the chair. You're almost done, eight seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Take 30 seconds, now we're gonna do that again. 
drink is fine at this point if you want one. Another 10 seconds and then we're gonna repeat that. All right, ignore this first beep. That is just ending our rest. All right, so start really close to the chair, hands on the seat. Three, two, one, go. Step back, remember that leg is pointed down and forward, not out to the side. Step switch or jump switch, land softly if you jump. You have to lift through the core. Super extra advanced would be doing this with no chair. <laughs> Bring your arms down, jump switch, very, very hard. Can be hard to control. 15 seconds left. And my husband's gonna make a cameo in the, in the recording any second now, he just came in the garage. <laughs> Three, two, one, there's your beat. You're done with your chair. The only thing you need for abs is the ball. You'll be on the floor. We're going to do ball plank first. So this is the one, if you wanna push your ball against the wall or even better, a corner, it won't roll out from under you. It'll still be hard because, hard to do because of the, of the squish in the ball. <laughs> We're gonna shoot for 45 seconds. So you start with hands on the ball, clasp your hands together, don't lay on it. So your chest or stomach is not touching the ball. And then you curl toes under and lift into plank in three, two, one, and go. Lift into plank, tuck your tail, pull your belly in. And then control your breathing. A lot of shaking on this one that's normal. And if you want to challenge, you can move your elbows in a circle, right to left, things like that. Forward, back, but do it carefully. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, to the knees. You'll be sitting upright for the next one with the ball. All right, this is the one where we're sitting here. We lean back, chest up, chin tuck, and then we tap, tap. So it's an isometric hold on the abs. At any point, if you need a break, you just sit up, reset, come back in 45 seconds. Three, two, one and go. Lean back. Pick. Pick. Janice has talked a little bit, so your gaze is basically looking toward the bottom of the ball because it's held up at an angle. 45 seconds. So remember, you can sit up out of this and then go back in when you need to. Chest up, that helps it uh, come into the abs more than the back. I think we did 30 seconds before. 45 is feeling like what? So if you can't get through the whole interval, that's why there's your beep. Leaning forward can help if you felt like it went into your back. And if you feel like you can't do that one, without hurting your back, then you might want to do dead bug or something instead. Just putting that out there. Ball plank, set two. Thought we were gonna be running late, but we're not yet. 45 seconds. When you do this on the video, you can try for longer. 45 isn't enough. Elbows a little bit together, hands clasped. Three, two, one, and go. Lift it away from the elbows. No part of your torso is touching the ball. Three, 
So a challenge they used to do in one of my classes that I would take would be draw the alphabet with your elbows. So A, B, super extra hard. That's an option if you need the challenge. 15 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, yeah, yeah. One exercise left. I'll keep it at 45. Because you can always sit up straight, reset as needed. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, lean back. Here's your beat. Chest up, chin tuck, sit kick. We are earning our shower today. <laughs> Peel our clothes off, all sweaty. Sit out of it if you need the break, just to reset. Pull your belly in, chest up, chin tuck. Almost there. And rest. Goodness. All right, people, that's it for today. Thank you for coming.